the situation now is that if you are not put onto the system, you are doing an illegal operation. So as you can see here, we are embarking on an exercise to ensure that all the 50 taxpayers are hooked onto the commissioner's EVAT invoicing system. We started yesterday, and I am sure you have heard on the news that we have closed down China Mall with all its branches. That was a caution by the Deputy Commissioner of Operations in charge of GRE's Domestic Tax Revenue Division, Chrissy Egan. Addressing the media, he stated that until the listed businesses comply with GRE's directive, they won't be permitted to operate. We are not going to open the place until each and every single branch is hooked onto the Commissioner General System. We are moving on today. We don't want to mention names, but by the end of the day, I am sure you will get to know that other recalcitrant or non-compliant taxpayers have also been closed down. The takeout here is that we are imploring all of us to ensure that of the 50 taxpayers who have been hooked, are supposed to hook onto the system, all would have complied as at yesterday. So for those who have not been co complying, the takeout is that please do so before we get there. When the team arrived at the Laboni branch of Palace Mall, managers of the facility had deliberately closed the shop on the outside but had all workers in the shopping center. There are people in there and they are refusing to open the mall and we can see some white men in there, whether they are Lebanese or um, there are workers in there, some whites and blacks and they are basically in there watching us uh, from the inside and basically they are willing to open the, their gates to the officials of GRE. Officials from the Ghana Revenue Authority are proceeding to seal off the place, the entrance of this particular shopping mall, uh, basically to prevent them from operating going forward. And they are using the commissioner's um, seal to um, seal off the entrance. And in effect, if this particular seal is tampered with, uh, they have no option than to uh, take other action against the owners or managers of this particular shopping center. Well, we've now gotten to the Palace Mall, the biggest one on the uh, Spintes Road, and the officers are entering basically to undertake an operation. And here we can see that people are buying and uh, people are also selling. You can see a lot of food stuff and uh, a number of things. And this is the um, Palace Mall exit. The entrance is at the other end. They are also not operating basically because they also got the information that we're coming in, but uh, now they are nowhere to be found. They've locked it with their own padlocks, but as it were, the officers from the officers from the GRA would proceed to use their seal to sell it. But within this particular shopping centre, there are other uh, stores that are operating within. So essentially, even when this particular one is um, closed, uh, people can still come in here into the bigger building to do their uh, transaction or purchase whatever they want to buy. At the third location located around the atomic runabout, um, the owners, we understand, they opened in the morning but upon hearing that the tax forces come into this particular place, they actually have to close their premises to the public. The tax force will still proceed to um, seal the entrance with the commissioner's tape to ensure that no one is allowed in until they also comply with the directive. This brings to the total of for the number of um, shops or branches of uh, Palace Mall that have been closed in the day and this one is located at Weja on the Cape Coast stretch and the officials have since used their padlock and uh, chains to lock the entrance while the owners of the place or managers have actually exited uh, indicating that sorry they have closed for the day and they are unable to open to the public. At the Regal restaurant at Osu, the manager of the facility expressed concern noting that his attempt to hook onto the GRE EVAT system proved futile a situation he blamed on the tax collector. The manager, Eddie Chang, spoke to City News. They give the new link for us to do again. My programmer is, we 
do again. How to get time is like this, fast like this. This morning I talked to my uh, the programmer. What happened? Why up to now no, no, no stop? I stop, no problem. I respect the law. The country, the law, I respect all. I did here 25 years, I no problem for this one. I understand this one. But it's he, he your side, the people delay the time, not me. The area enforcement manager of Accra Central Office of GRE, Joseph Annan, advised managers of the closed shops not to attempt tampering with the commissioner's seal. The places we have been to, they all locked out their places before we got there. And that is good for us because we spent less time to get the places. We just applied the commissioner's generous tip. And please, you tamper with that tip, it compounds your problems because it can lead to an imprisonment. So if I were you, I will guide it jealously. In all, about five shopping centers have been closed down by the GRE tax force, basically because they failed to comply with the e-vatting system that has been put in place for all of them to be able to issue uh, invoices that indicates electronically in their system that indeed people are purchasing items and paying the right VAT on the right items. So essentially, the China mall that was not closed yesterday uh, has been closed at this moment, bringing to a total of five uh, China mall branches that have been closed down by the GRA tax force and four police mall branches within Accra have since been shut down by the tax force. My name is Fred Duho reporting for City News.